Hi, welcome to another exciting edition of Ion Guardian. My name's Tim Allen. I'm your show host, and we got a show for you today. We're in Ocala, Florida. We're at the awesome Silver Springs Nature's Theme Park here. You're going to want to sit back, get your sweet tea, get something to snack on, and I'll tell you what, we're getting ready to get started when? Right now. Silver Springs is a 350-acre nature theme park located 90 miles north of Orlando in Florida. We are the home of the world-famous glass-bottom boats. Glass-bottom boats were invented here in 1878 when a gentleman named Hullum Jones put a plate glass on the bottom of a canoe and started charging people a few pennies to go out over the springs. So that's when we've been able to document that that's when people first came to the area to enjoy the clarity of the water and the natural surroundings. Up until then, Silver Springs had actually been a port of commerce. River boats would come from Jacksonville, sail south on the St. Johns River, down the Aqualaha, and up the seven miles of the Silver River, here to the headwaters of Silver Springs, and unload their passengers and goods, and transport them to Tampa by wagon and later by rail, faster and safer than sailing all the way around the peninsula. So this is actually as far west across the state as you could sail. You could still do that today, but you have to go through a series of locks and dams. Then, in, uh, as I said, in 1878, glass-bottom boats were uh, invented here. Uh, then uh, we started bringing in some shops, some more attractions. Ross Allen's Reptile Institute was a major attraction here starting in the 1920s. have done a number of films here at Silver Springs as well as TV shows starting in 1915 with The Seven Swans. Six Tarzan movies were filmed here at Silver Springs between 1932 and 42, starring Johnny Weissmuller and Marino Sullivan, which actually helped establish Silver Springs as a the underwater filming capital of the world in the 30s and 40s. Creature from the Black Lagoon was filmed here in the mid-50s. Um, more than 100 episodes of Sea Hunt were filmed here between 1958 and 1961. All the underwater episodes were shot here at Silver Springs. Then the above water shots were shot out off the coast of California. Other famous movies have been shot here include um, uh, The Yearling. Three of the statues from I Spy are still exist and are still down at the main spring area that people see when they go over it on the glass bottom boats.
Uh, Silver Springs today offers a, uh, in addition to the glass bottom boats, offers the uh, Lost River Voyage Ride, which takes guests further down river than where the glass bottoms uh, boats operate. So you see the Silver River the way it was 10,000 years ago. There's absolutely no development out there on the river. You'll see birds and alligators and turtles and fish and otters, all the native wildlife of Florida. We also have the Fort King River Cruise, which takes guests on the 10,000 year history of Silver Springs, starting with an archaeological site in which the boat captain talks about the prehistoric animals that were here 10,000 years ago, just like Silver Springs is a major watering hole for wildlife today. There's also a stop at the Fort King River Cruise, a uh, riverboat dock, a pioneer settlement and they talk all about how Silver Springs grew over the years. We also have the uh, Lighthouse Ride. It's an 80-story tall telescoping tower ride that takes guests in gondolas uh, to the treetops overlooking the uh, headwaters of the river. We have the World of Bears exhibit. We've uh, had five of the world species of bears on exhibit here at Silver Springs over the years, including births of uh, endangered Asiatic black bears. We have uh, Florida Panthers here, with, along with their western uh, cousins, the uh, cougar, that are on display in our Panther Prowl exhibit. Uh, we have uh, uh, crocodilians. There are 24 species of crocodilians in the world. We have 13 of them on display here at Silver Springs, and we're actively involved in the captive propagation of some of those endangered species, like the Philippine croc. We have four wildlife animal shows here as well as a bird of prey and a, an exotic bird show uh, that uh, are staged uh, at various times throughout the day, every day here at Silver Springs. And we do special events uh, throughout the year, Oktoberfest, we do a car shows, we do our big festival of lights during the holiday season. And a major attraction here at Silver Springs during the season is our, our concert series. This year we have 21 headliners performing at Silver Springs. Uh, we've had Willie Nelson here, Kenny Rogers, Leanne Rimes, Chuck Berry already this year. We have the Bellamy Brothers coming up, uh, Roy Clark, the Association, Gary Puckett. We have a lot of, lot of headliners here and that's, we've been doing concerts here at Silver Springs since 93. Guests can go to www.silversprings.com and see our website and uh, see a complete listing of what we offer here at the park throughout the year. Hey, have you ever wondered what a topiary is? Well, here at Silver Springs, they have several representations of some awesome topiary figurines. Now, right here we have giraffes. They've got a pair of giraffes here, really kind of cool. Nice focal piece for a garden. They also have a swan topiary, uh, I believe a turtle and some other topiaries scattered throughout the floral gardens here at Silver Springs. Now you too could have a topiary at your home. Let me tell you a little bit about these. Real easy to make. What this simply is, is this structure is covered with a creeping fig or a vine. Uh, you can use Asiatic jasmine, depending on the portion of the country you live in and the climactic conditions. This is ficus repens. We're in the central Florida area. Very aggressive. 
it simply creeps all over a preformed structure. Now, how do you get the preformed structure? Well, that's easy. If you have uh, some local art shops around town, or let's say you know anybody that does steel fabrication or welding, they take a steel frame, if you will, and begin creating whatever you would like. Then you take a moss. Uh, you can pick this up in any of your craft stores. You get it wet, and you begin to pack the, the actual structure, if you will. Pack that moss in there, get it good and wet, pack it in solid, go throughout the whole structure, packing, just dipping, wetting, packing this moss into the framework. Then, when you're done, you can take some fishing line, which we see here, and you begin wrapping uh, the structure to secure this moss and keep it in place. Then you take, by sprigs, you take small pieces of your actual vining uh, plant material. Again, here you have uh, ficus repens, and you begin plugging with small plugs this vine throughout the animal. You're going to need to water with the garden hose about every other day. You can fertilize about once a month, twice a month with a mild Peter solution. This baby will take off. And then you can take and begin wrapping this growth. You see this long, viney growth? It's going to do a lot of its clinging to itself, and then it's going to throw another aerial root that will reattach and begin to secure itself in place. When they get long, you need to get some hand shears, just simple hand shears, keep them razor sharp, and begin clipping and maintaining the form of this topiary. If you don't, you're just going to have a big blob. It's going to be just one big mess. Now, this is a maintenance item. If, if you've got some extra time, you want to get outdoors, you want to enjoy the fresh air and work in the garden, these things are a lot of fun. It's going to take a little time on your part. Well worth the effort. You don't have to be uh, Silver Springs to have a topiary. You can have one in your garden at your home. When you come here to Silver Springs, you'll go through actually a, a small cypress swamp, walk across some boardwalks, and then you'll come to the entrance of Silver Springs. When you walk in, one of the first attractions you'll see is one of the re last of the pointed hull glass bottom boats, one of the original ones that date back to the 1930s. That style of boat is what you'll see in a lot of the old archive photos of Silver Springs in the 30s and 40s and uh, we have it right next to our historical showcase. You walk right past it. Our historical showcase is also on the left in which we have some archive photos, some uh, uh, promotional material dating back to the 1920s and 30s, film clips of many of the movies and TV shows that were filmed here at Silver Springs and just past that is a mini mall with shops and restaurants where you can enjoy uh, something to eat and pick up some souvenirs from the park. Further on past the shops is our concert stage, our Twin Oaks Mansion concert stage where we stage our headline entertainers throughout the year. Just beyond them is the Critter Corral Petting Zoo. We have a variety of animals that uh, our children can enjoy and hand, hand feed and pet including uh, deer, llamas, goats, geese, and donkeys. The two giraffes on exhibit at Silver Springs were both born here at the park back in the 1960s. Uh, they have been bottle fed. They are very calm and uh, very people friendly. In fact, I think they're, they think they're humans. With our pet a giraffe attraction, we have a pair of large full grown reticulated giraffes. The males probably approximately 18 feet tall and you can also buy some crackers to hand feed them and put them. They're very docile, they're beautiful animals. They have a 14 inch blue tongue which will take your sunglasses off or your hats if they aren't secured. Uh, beyond that is our World of Bears attraction, our Wilderness Trail, our Lost River Voyage Dock, and our bird shows. Uh, that's all in the north end of the park. On the south end of the park is our collection of crocodilians, the panther exhibit, as well as the uh, Big Gator Lagoon and the Lost River Voyage Ride. Wow, this place is too cool. Silver Springs is a blast. 
Look at, this is a brief map of the area. Look at all the cool stuff here. You got the wings of the Springs Bird Show, Lost River Voyage, you know, the Silver River. Look, they got a wilderness trail. Lighthouse ride, the lighthouse ride is too cool. You gotta do it when you're here at Silver Springs. But I'll tell you what, I'm into bears. Bears are cool. Hey, did you see the giraffes that were here? Awesome. Look, world of bears, that's where we're heading now. Come along with me, we're gonna have a blast. One of the things I've noticed, uh, one of the most popular impressions that Silver Springs makes upon guests, and I've heard it many, many times, is that it's a totally different experience than many of the mega parks uh, in Orlando and around the country. When guests come here, it's a different atmosphere. It's more laid back, it's more relaxing, in which you don't feel rushed that you need to go to one attraction after another. More than one person has told me that they enjoy just going around enjoying the natural Florida, the natural surroundings, and one of the best seats in the house is actually one of our rocking chairs on the promenade deck, just sitting back and watching the glass bottom boats, watching alligators swimming by, birds. In the late afternoon, this is a major wa uh, flyway of water birds. So you'll see herons and egrets and cormorants flying in and roosting just down river. So it's a beautiful uh, natural environment that, uh, that is much, uh, uh, that's very soothing. Well, there you go. Another episode of Ion Gardening in the Can. Did you enjoy today's show? Was Silver Springs absolutely awesome or what? I'll tell you, we go to an awful lot of locations and Silver Springs gets a thumbs up from us. This location is a blast. You need to put it on your travel itinerary. Bring the kids, spend the day this is a location that will really be a blessing to you and your family. There's so many things to do here. They're right off of I-75. Uh, you're coming out of Georgia into Florida just below Gainesville before you get to Orlando. Don't pass this one by. Silver Springs is a place you will enjoy. I promise you that. As far as today's programming, I hope it was encouraging for you and we were able to bring quality programming into your home. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to email me, go to our show website at iongardening.com. Let me know what your comments are. It'd be a real blessing to me. I need to have input from you and helps me to know what exactly I'm doing right or maybe something you don't like, so believe me, uh, don't be shy. If it looks good to you, gosh, be a blessing. Send me an email. Say, hey, Tim, we liked it. You're doing great. And if you got something you want me to focus on, be sure to email me. Whether you got problems with azaleas, you got problems with the lawn, whatever, I'll be glad to take my time to help you. The show is all about being a blessing to you. It's not about us, it's about you. So until next time, remember to keep your eye on gardening. God bless you. I'll see you next show.
exclusive accommodation provider, superior hotels and resorts. Spend a day, spend a week, spend a lifetime. At Superior, you are home. For more information, log on to their website at superiorus.com. For gardening technical support, be sure to log on to scots.com. Number one for all your lawn and garden needs. is a symbol of freedom, a beast of raw power, waiting to be unleashed to anyone who can tame it. Motorcycles have become a way of life for millions, and a symbol of deeply held values. They all share a common passion, the love of the open road. 